Hey everyone, it's nice out today, so I was just gonna sit out here and talk about whatever. Uh, see, Dino Fury recently finished filming, like they wrapped up filming. I was seeing some behind the scenes pictures of the cast and crew. Some of them, like, being bummed out, the show is over with now. Let's see, there's still uh, some, like, question as to, like, where the second season of Dino Fury is gonna go. Is it gonna be on Nickelodeon at all, or is it gonna go straight to Netflix? And how's it going to go to Netflix? Is it going to be like one episode a week? Or is it going to be spread out? Or is it just going to be all at once? Or is it going to be like in chunks? Like you get four episodes one week. Then a few weeks later you get the next four episodes or something. I don't know. It'll be really weird to see uh, where Power Rangers goes from here. Like is it going to be like exclusively on Netflix? Or is it going to like, still be on Nickelodeon, or is Nickelodeon still going to air it? Like, are they going to re-air it later after Netflix gets it, or... Or what's the story there? Also, it's kind of weird that they're, like, teaming up with Netflix, considering Netflix uh, took off nearly, like, the whole of Power Rangers. Like, uh, someone was saying to me just a while ago, all that's on there now is... See, they got all three seasons of Mighty Morphin, plus three version series... And then there's um, uh, Ninja Steel, Beast Morphers, and uh, oh yeah, the first half of Dino Fury Season 1 is coming soon. Uh, the first 11 episodes, meaning Netflix will get episodes that uh, Nickelodeon hasn't even aired yet. So that's kind of cool. We get leaked episodes that are going to be in English, most likely. We don't have to watch the French versions or something first. <laughs> I remember back in, uh, I think it was Megaforce was the first time... That really started happening, where the episodes would air in Australia or France or something, and we'd get them, and, like, eh, that's cool, but, like, they're in French. <laughs> so there's a bunch of Megaforce episodes where, in my mind, whenever I watch Megaforce now, I think of the French version as, like, the original. <laughs> Let's see, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, why, like, I've been following the, uh, episode uploads on YouTube, and there's a weird thing that happens whenever the Power Rangers channels, like, the official Power Rangers channels upload episodes to YouTube. Let's see, uh, I was following the Power Rangers Kids channel, because that's where they were uploading the Reversion Series episodes. They got up to episode 10, I think, and the weird thing was, every time they would upload a new episode, the new episode would be privatized... And then a little while later, it would be fine to watch. I don't know why they did it that way. The opening theme song is cut out, so all I can guess is maybe it's privatized while they're waiting to see if cutting the theme song is all they need to do to keep it from getting copyright claimed by themselves. Only thing I can think of. And um, Then the, uh, the official Power Ranger channel started uploading a reversion series episodes, but then they just suddenly stopped. But a while ago... I went to uh, the playlist for the Power Ranger Kids channel. Every single reversion episode is privatized, or privated, whatever you call it. I have no idea why. I don't know if that means they're uploading more episodes to the Kids channel, or if maybe they're going to be taking them off the Kids channel and just putting them on the official channel, who knows. I don't even know why Power Rangers has a Kids channel, because... Like, it's all YouTube kids, right? <laughs> like, it all gets the comments locked, and uh, you can't play it in the mini player. I wonder why that is. It's such a weird thing. Like, why can't kids do something while watching YouTube? That doesn't seem fair. Look at all these weird rocks here. Ah, let's see. What else? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of Power Ranger news coming out right now. Like, uh, most of the big news is just about uh, the Lightning Collection or the Battle for the Grid game. Or is it Legacy Wars? One of them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do the Power Ranger video games now. <laughs> I don't have any new systems, and I... Let's see, I tried to, like, download one of the versions on my phone and play it, but you had to use the touchscreen, and I'm just not good with a touchscreen for a fighting game. It was really awkward. It, it did not work for me. Like, it was kind of fun, but, you know, when I was getting 
a little farther into the game, it got too difficult to do stuff with a touch screen. I'm just not used to it. I'd rather use buttons. Now, if they were to come out with, like, um, uh, the Power Ranger game on the Nintendo Switch, maybe I'd play that if I ever got a Nintendo Switch. Now, what else is there to talk about? Yeah, not a whole lot of Power Ranger news this week. How long is this? Eh, only five minutes? Okay. Hmm. I'm trying really hard to think of something else. Yeah, not much news, as far as I know. Uh, MMPR Toys has been putting out a bunch of behind-the-scenes pictures on YouTube. That's kind of cool. I, uh, let's see. Facebook doesn't work so well on my phone, so it's really difficult to try and download the, the pictures. Excuse me. So anyway, I'm hoping they update their Twitter, because Twitter is easier for me to use on a phone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not, not a whole lot of Power Ranger news. This is a boring video, isn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, oh, guess I'll talk about something else. See ya.